back again to new video the sampati watching sampat sahafats youtube channel and there's a poco it's a custom rom reviews android version 12 l cherry source 3.8 june 5th 2022 latest security patch kernel is 4.14.28 to ceylon t prince eugen kernel has been used and so next status is enforcing and this is the latest build available for poco x3 slash nfc june 13 build latest one and this is how the home screen looks and the android 12 l based custom rom this is android 12 features like monet engine customization and the clock widgets those things are present in this from let's start with dialer here you will get direct video call feature that's not the problem and call recording feature is also working fine that's not the problem here and you can see here this is the quick settings panel in the edit section you have plenty of options again here you can check out compass option reading mode music sound search and there is a dedicated refresh rate button also as you can see i kept to 60 and it's not changing after that i don't know let's go into display and check out what's happening into that refresh rate maximum minimum should i keep to 120 okay maximum also 120 low power refresh rate also 120 let's see can we change that it's not going to be change here it's fixed you can't change from here it was there in the previous version but currently it's not working and smoothness is still there you can expect very good gaming that will be shown very soon in this video stay tuned till the end of the video and last 15 days there were not that much consistency in my videos i mean not a regular videos you are seeing because i got a new pet to my home i'll give the description the video link in the description you can check out i started new channel regarding pets you can have a look on that if you are interested i will subscribe also the server cpu throttling test in this particular rom you can see here six minutes 36 minutes have been running the cpu throttling test and that is the maximum was 149 and average was 143 and minimum is 125 and there is a little bit of throttling going on it's showing 95 percent of its max performance has been throttled it's quite normal nothing bad here but i don't believe in these apps but it's up to you that's how the cpu throttling test now regarding the benchmark results let's see with anti to benchmark first followed by geekbench you can see here 3,64,869 and temperature raise was just 0 0.6 degree celsius this is the lowest i have ever seen in my channel for poco x custom rooms and two percentage of battery drop is standard here two to three it's quite normal because it takes around five to ten minutes sometimes it depends with the geekbench course you can see here and app openings also you can judge based on previous rounds you can see here single score is 554 and multi score is 1652 and kernel usdr is linux 4.1428 to ceylon tp in prince yugen kernel has been used as I said before also this is the kernel they have changed the kerbal kernel maybe but still the smoothness is there let's see how it handled in bgmi and call of duty also i have installed with your demand and regarding app settings let's see drm info here you get level one certification such that you can watch all the ott application in hd resolution that's not the problem in this case and i have here like 100 mps geo giga fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 you can see here it's fine enough even with mobile data internet connections it is taking 10 to 12 mbps it depends upon your network location and the network provider and carrier aggregation is also working fine no problem and earpiece is fine enough no echo or anything and some people asking about the casting to tv in this rom it's working note that this is working the casting in the settings let me search here cast as you can see this is working fine no problem regarding this okay this one you need to use this one it's working fine no problem regarding that many people asking about that too now into the safety net status it will get passed obviously you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm you know sba whatever you want to use you can use that's another problem as you can see it get passed 
even whatsapp is also working fine no problem regarding that just it notified like this that you have installed a custom rom that they will give the warning but you can use it that's how it is and uh, the regarding camera i've been already speaking about this like the arno build gcam this is the version of gcam i am using here you can see this is the arno build gcam all the ultra wide angle everything is working fine here no problem just if you go into video or more the slow motion won't work as you can see if i press this now it's working really good once you add xml file it won't be working out that you need to keep in mind if you want you can use any other gcam ports as of now anx camera support is not available for this particular rom so let's see into the settings these are the settings into system first let's check this guest navigation system navigation guest navigation pill length you can adjust it's visible I always been speaking about this okay it's it has differentiated between overall screen and the pill you can see here let me get closer it should be above the screen, overall screen but that's how it is they should give the option at least or directly they need to give that option advanced guest options you get plenty of customization here and these things swipe to screenshot everything is working fine no problem regarding that and continuously you can expect videos in my channel and if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below this and also the, allow the bell notification while whenever i upload a new video video you will get notified and if you like the video give it a like and security and lock screens you get fingerprint and face unlock which is working fine app lock is also there smart lock encryption and credential obviously it's the encrypted rom this is how it is utilities they have added this accessibility menu here it's also working fine no problem regarding this also you can see here it's a handy feature to have in this particular rom in the battery settings again the battery usage is very good in this rom it hasn't recorded but it is very good in this particular rom and flashing method is very similar to previous version i guess it's 3.6 cherish OS. follow the same method use the same 12.5.5 firmware only don't use the latest one 12.5.7 or 8 use the 12.5.5 only and uh, flash this rom zip file instead of 3.6 that's it it's a simple while flashing this and charges settings you get here customization status bar this i noticed here battery icon you can see here plenty of options has been added in the previous version it wasn't there that's how it is and uh, customizations are lot more traffic indicators are given quick settings you can see here again there are plenty of customization themes again you get here use black theme this is very important for me at least and settings layout you can choose some of them oxygen is 11 12 cherish cherish clean also is there let's see if i apply cherish okay now let me go back this is the settings panel it takes just one to two seconds and it restarts the settings panel this is how it is and animations print of customization lock screen power menu advanced restart button is also there notification settings customization vibrate on connect call connect waiting and disconnect you can customize from here in the miscellaneous settings this is also important thing and few people ask about in the previous version of cherish voice how did you enable the fps count you need to just enable here in the game space and one more thing is i enabled this unlimited photo storage it's working fine but higher fps in games is not working let's see again will it work or not let's see in the bgmi how it handles will it give directly the 60 fps or not or 90 fps let's see this is big disappointment guys let me show you in the graphic settings as you can see smooth plus ultra only no 90 fps or 60 fps enabled in the previous version of cherry choice it was enabled let me show you again in the settings i have enabled this but still we are not getting this is the problem i have noticed even in the redmi note 7 pro with this particular version cherry choice i recommend people who know how to enable 60 and 90 fps they can flash this particular rom or update their rom from previous version to this one but those who don't know then stick to the previous version maybe very soon or next month you get the 3.9 or 4.0 update on this x3 nfc the cherish OS. that's how it is 
but i don't see any major difference other than this but it is a difference in the game definitely it's going to be difference if you have high fps it will be better for gameplay quite obvious thing that is and loudness you can see it the smoothness of the rom is fine enough but uh, gameplay might get disappointed for game lovers i mean gaming rom lovers is it a bug or why they did i don't know they would have added that option for 60 and 90 fps let's see it is choppy now the 40 fps gameplay showing its weakness as you can see now with the cod i mean call of duty mobile let's go into settings and graphics you can see here up to max is available here graphic quality if i keep low up to ultra megapixel this is sorry max graphics whatever it is mp only is also given here let's set this one and play this is it the bjm problem or what i don't know but call of duty you are getting max settings the gameplay is also smooth compared to bjm this is smooth compared to bjm because it's in high fps that's the main important thing you need to notice while playing high battle royale battle royale games like this fps makes much of a difference compared to quality of graphics if both are good that's fine but fps is very important rather than quality You can see here it's smooth enough. Just with BGM, they disappointed this time. The cherish was 3.8, and this other cherish was 3.8. Let me show you the fingerprint unlock. As you can see, it's quick enough to unlock this one is fine. You will get that wobbling effect and a tall L style. The dark theme. Let me turn this. The dark theme. you can see here it's in pitch black condition just you need to enable that settings what i explained in the cherish settings and the themes and just enable this use black theme then only you get pitch black condition otherwise you will get the gray type color whatever theme based upon your wallpapers and home settings you get pixel launcher as a pre installed launcher this is how it is you can see the version and wallpaper some style you get plenty of wallpapers you can customize them I mean this one. The basic colors and theme icons is still in beta and upgrade. Let me disable this and I will show you the face unlock also. And 33 watt charger support is there. Let me show you the face unlock. As you can see, it is very quick. Unlock your smartphone using this face unlock. This is the Cherish OS 3.8. I don't recommend for people who are interested in BGM gameplay because the previous version has directly. 90 fps option and it was a little bit better even in graphics and overall balanced gameplay it, that was very good gaming rom in may month but that is not the case in june i recommend to go with the carosus 3.0 latest video i have uploaded in my channel you can check out 
if not you can check this also for call of duty it's fine depends guys that's how the verdict of this particular from you can see here scrolling between apps and into the settings panel it's smooth enough with 120 hertz refresh rate it is handling very good but just the miss a few of the things that were present in 3.6 that's all let's meet with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now